All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, uh, you know, I wanted to introduce to you my four wives, and uh, I'm not sure how I can introduce them to you. Uh, the mission is kind of difficult. Uh, you see, before they wear their curtain, they did not tell me which one is wearing the one in blue, which one in beige, which one in green, which one in brown. So I'm a little bit confused now about who is she behind the curtain. Imagine you have four wives and they are wearing such a horror terror movie clothing. I mean, what the heck is that? What kind of cult this cult is? They are burying the women alive. Curtain after curtain after curtain, because she is a woman, and women for them, she is a piece of shame. What kind of religion this religion is? You see, we as a human, we cover certain part of our body because it's a shame to expose. As an example, your private part. For Muslims believe all the women is a private part. So she have to be covered from the top to the toes by curtain. This is not a hijab, this is a curtain. You see the Muslims, actually the hijab is a curtain. Uh, the, uh, you know, the Muslims, they think that hijab is something you put in the top of your head. That because they are ignorant, they do not know the religion. Hijab is a word mean curtain, literally curtain. On Taliban, they are wearing the curtain because as you see, there's a curtain. Yes, they are covering the top, but this is the only way to hold the curtain in, you know, between you and the man. Uh, always Muslims, they have no idea what their cult teach. So uh, when you hear a Muslim speaking about hijab, he will tell you hijab is something the women she wear in the top of her head. That's absolutely false. Hijab is a curtain. If we go right now in the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, the book of fairy tales and stupid stories and mistakes and errors and crazy science. And we search for the word hijab. This is the word hijab. Chapter 7, verse number 46. What hijab mean? Curtain. A barrier, screen, curtain. Do you see it? Between them, it is something between you and me. It's not something in the top of me or in the top of you. This is the word hijab, and this is how it is. Hijab and Mastura, chapter 17, verse number 45. It's a screen, it's a curtain. Chapter 19, verse number 17, hijab, she screened herself from them. She did not wear something in her head, no. She screened herself, which means they cannot see her at all. She is behind a curtain. Chapter 33, verse number 53. The same again. You cannot speak to the women of Muhammad unless from behind a screen. Do you see it? This is the word hijab. From behind the curtain. If you don't like this translation, we can change it for you. It is a curtain. Literally. Hmm? This is the word hijab. So the idiot who follow this cult, they do not know even how to read their own Quran and how to understand the Quran. There is nowhere in the Quran that says women, she have to put something in her head. It says that she have to put a curtain in the front of her, which is very stupid. I mean, how you can, which means you cannot go on the street 
because how you can carry a curtain with you and this is the case all over the Quran even Allah himself he don't speak to anyone unless he is from behind the curtain never do Allah wear a hijab uh, Mr. Akib Ali uh, you want to call me are you a Muslim my friend Mr. Akib Ali are you a Muslim because <clears throat> my Skype now is not open so as you see the word hijab as we see it in the front of us even Allah himself he have a hijab <laughs> so hijab cannot be something you wear in your head otherwise that would be stupid because that means Allah himself he is wearing a hijab <laughs> that is crazy all right Akib, let me open Skype just for you <coughs> give me a second please <coughs> Let us see what our friend uh, Ali he want to say. <coughs> okay, uh, Mr. Ali, uh, give me a call, please. I am in Skype now. <clears throat> I don't know, there is a Muslim woman trying to call. I don't know if this is her or you, I'm not sure. Hello? Hello? Yes. Why are you lying? I'm lying about what, brother? You lie about everything. Like what, brother? <laughs> and why you are using a, a, a woman name, you idiot? <laughs> you are, you are, uh, 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 and why you hang up, potato? Even if you are not sure from your gender, so you use a woman name? Potato. He is using a woman name. And then he called me and then he said why you are lying and we ask him about what he hang up hmm. okay Mimi nice to meet you Mimi all right let me log off uh, Skype because I don't want to get disturbed <clears throat> we thought we got uh, somebody you know it, it turned to be a, a rabbit <clears throat> Anyway, you know, by the way, the Muslim, they will say to you, do you know that the word the hijab is exists in the Bible? That's absolutely false. The funny, the Muslims, they say uh, such a thing and they quote, uh, uh, suddenly, you know, suddenly, how much the Muslim, they hate Paul? They hate him very much, right? And then when they want to speak about something, they quote Paul. The Bible says it clearly that the cover of the women is the natural cover which God he gave her this is her glory her glory is her hair but if the women have a long hair it is a glory to her for her hair is given her for a covering so God gave the women a natural cover it's a glory it is her hair you know ask yourself such a question if Allah is God and he don't want any man to make to see the women unless it is time what about you make her you know you create her like a turtle hmm? 
So if a stranger come in, she can get in and nobody can see her. Turtle. Give Adam a female turtle. Create a uh, create Eve with turtle uh, housing. This is what the Muslims are trying to make out of their women. They are trying to make them turtle. I don't see women there. I see a turtle. Actually, a turtle, she can put her neck and her head out. Look at this. Look at this. What the heck is that? Hey, Ali, just go. We don't have time for kids. Let your dad call me. I gave you a chance, and you turn out to be a kid. So to make it simple, I'm not going to keep you long here. Covering women will not make women good or bad. Will make the one who forced them to cover filthy. Women who they are forced, you know, just give them some freedom and see what, what they would do. Go to Iran. They are forcing hijab for the last, or curtain, first, they are forcing it for the last 30 years. Go and see, nobody's wearing it. Even they are forcing it. Even there is police in the street. They walk in the street and will give you a big fine and you might go to jail. Still, women, they are refusing it. Because Persian women, they are not the same as others. They are free women. The second the regime of the mullahs in Islam the, in Iran collapse, you will see Iranian women who they are supposed to be Muslims, not only wearing the hijab, you will see them in the bikini. You see, the Bible in the Old Testament mentioned that there's a woman, she was covering herself by a curtain, and they thought she is a hooker because of that. Why? Because those who do shame, they cover themselves this way, so nobody will recognize who they are. Muhammad, sadly, because he's a filthy man, he looked at women as a sexual object only, not as a human being. He enforced such a garbage teaching, making people believe that women are an object of sex and nobody will see on them anything, nothing human about them except they are sexual entertainment. Not only he taught men they can beat women. I mean, look at this. What is that? <laughs> what is this? This is any you mean, actually. And look, those women, they have ID. I mean, come on. Look at the technology. After the American, they invade them. They have an ID now. Look at this picture. However, change is happening. Change is happening. But it looked like it's taking the wrong direction. Instead of uh, revealing the head, they are revealing the, revealing the legs. But it's happening.
If you have a question for me, I'm ready. No, I'm not ready, my friend. Call me next year. You are the only one is ready. I mean, who can be ready? Muslims always ready. You were ready when you lost Jerusalem. You were ready when your prophet he said, Allah he sent hail down from mountains in heaven. You are always ready. Hmm? What is this? All right, there's pictures. I think we cannot show them. They are crazy. So I better stop here. Interesting. Very interesting picture. This is what they have in Europe right now. This is Europe. You believe it or not, this is Europe. And this is a Starbucks in Europe. Hmm. Well, what we can do? I believe strongly Islam is nothing but a curse. It's a curse. And countries who they really encourage this cult to be all over, they are bringing a curse to themselves. Look at this picture. <laughs> what, what, what are they doing there? I mean, what, what exactly? Why they, why they are going there? <laughs> oh, there you are. Anyway, I'm not going to stay here for long. <clears throat> Just wanted to share with you that what they call hijab day is a shame day. You see, a woman's clothing doesn't make her good or bad. It's what women do and what men do. You can dress good in any standard people believe in it, but you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Since when you are good because you wear, uh, you know, so you wear a burqa. Drugs, prostitution, you know. Those are Muslim women in the beach. The only one who swim is men. Women are watching. And if a woman, she swim with her burqa, don't tell me what will happen. The burqa will stuck with her body and you will see every single detail. Hmm. Look at this picture here. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this one. She having a suntan. That is a good suntan. I hope it's working. I mean, yeah, well... <laughs> 
I mean, who was going to report her? Nobody knows who is she. She is showing her legs and nobody will know who is she. Eh, do your best. Tell my husband. There is no way to find out who is she. All right? Yeah. Oh, this one is taking selfie. All right. I think this is the best uh, selfie ever. There's a picture actually about someone she's eating. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> Look at this. I think the macaroni, it tastes better this way. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Push it, push it. I mean, yeah, you have to keep the umbrella and the top. I mean, what is this, man? What is this? Man, oh man. Uh, look, this, this burka have a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a great fashion. Hmm. Oh, look at this one. That's really, that's lovely. That's super fashion. Look at this. This one, this one she is saying to you, no comment. Hmm. Fantastico. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not sure which one is my cousin. Which one? Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> I need a metal detector because she have a gun. And it's easy to find her with the metal detector. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, it's a comedy, but it's sad, my friend. This is not really a good comedy. This is a very stupid, disgusting cult. Um... I mean, amazing. Well, I'm not going to keep you long. I mean, the topic is easy to understand. Uh, this religion is nothing but a stupid uh, cult. Subjugate the women to a uh, dress code. And the dress code doesn't make the women good or bad. It makes Islam bad. This dress code is a clear sign how Islam look at the women. And, you know, Muhammad, because he made the women as a sexual object, so not only in earth she is just for sex, even in heaven. The women, she will be a gift for somebody in heaven. Very, very filthy cult. I'm not going to keep this video in my channel. Uh, hey, John, how are you? Uh, so if you like, you can download it, share it with your friends. Uh, I made a video just an hour ago or two hours ago for uh, 
you know you know the Muslims they accuse us of lying you know there's a hadith uh, they were telling uh, brother Amir maybe some of you do not know who is Amir they were telling him that this hadith is not exist it's in the book of Christian Prince but his line is not there so I made a video about it if you like to see it and we got them busted as usual you know uh, the Prophet of Islam he somebody he fro he, fr he freed his slave and Muhammad he bought the slave uh, sorry he did not buy the slave he took the slave and he sold him again after he was freed imagine so the Muslim they are very upset and they are saying Christian Prince is lying and this is not a true blah 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 so watch it if you care uh, always always we have to remember one thing the one who disrespect women he disrespect his mother and the one who disrespect his mother he have no place in heaven the one who disrespect uh, the mother he disrespect the mother of his kids his mother his sister his daughter I mean who then what is left if not the women you will be even not exist if women are a shame and women are a problem you yourself as a man you will not be born this cult must be defeated for it is destroying more than 50% of a human race which is the women gender Muhammad he claimed that women they are stupid and he claimed that a woman she became a leader the nation will fail uh, <clears throat> when the daughter of uh, of the king of the Persian she became the queen Muhammad he made it clear that no nation will succeed if they give their leadership to a woman because this is how Muhammad he see it you see this is the same country it's called Persia Persia before Islam they have women as leader as a king as a queen and they have no problem women after Islam in Persia in the same country in the same people in the same nation she became a piece of shame do you see what religion can do nobody oppose having a queen to a very powerful nation at that time it's called the Persian women only Muhammad For he look at women very very down women for him are stupid what what it's mean there is no nation will be you know success succeed if they make a woman their ruler what, what does that mean you see England England they did not have a strong leader as Margaret Thatcher all the prime ministers came after her none of them is equal to her and she's a woman She is a woman. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Peter, what, what do you want to ask me? <clears throat> the word third doesn't mean female a private part but uh, can't that also mean made a private part if you know if you are talking about a woman the word farj is a female a private part as an example in the Quran where it says how, how we know the Quran says farjaha the ha belongs to a female if it's for a male it's going to be farjuhu So if you speak Arabic, you will understand in two seconds that this is something belong to a female. So the word farj is an opening, the opening in the body. 
and that is the hole it can be the back hole for the man uh, it can be the private part because there's an opening and for the women is her vagina hmm? he is the word for jaha you don't say for jaha for a male you see it only for a female did i answer you and look at the language Quran says and Mary the one who protected her vagina he did not say she she is a good woman no the one who guarded her vagina that is the word and you know <clears throat> you can always do your own search and I will give you an example this is Muhammad speaking and this is the word farjaha or farjiha do you see it? okay what the Muslim translation for the word farjiha do you see it? the hadith saying that there is four witnesses they have to see they have to witness that they saw the male private part the penis going inside farjaha okay what is farjaha you tell me i will give you options it's her nose it's her ears or it's her vagina this is the muslim translation they brought four witnesses who testified that they had seen his sexual organ between two bracket penetrated in her female organ nice to meet you Peter so what the word farjaha you see they are trying to be polite they did not use the word vagina but this is the word it's a vagina hmm? did I answer you I hope so and you see as you see we are showing you uh, uh, the Muslim translation and this is a hadith and this is the one is talking here it's coming from Muhammad who is speaking about four witnesses all right And here you see how stupid this cult. I mean, how you can find four witnesses, they will see the organ of the man going in and out. He will wait for you. Is it even stupid? Not really. So after all this explanation, Peter, he did not understand. Not really. Not really. <laughs> okay, Peter, take, take care. I mean, what we can do to you? I mean, they are saying to you until they see his penis going inside her farjaha. So what farjaha is? Not really. Peter, he did not get it. Not really. He did not convince me. Not really. <laughs> you understand it's a female part? Well, what is the female part, you idiot? Peter, what is the female part? What is the female part which is a penis will go inside it? I'm, I, I'm, I'm waiting for your intelligence. Think, think. I'm, I'm very sure you are very smart. What is the female part which a penis go inside it? Peter, you are not getting what I'm trying to say. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> well you are the one who made the question the question is do the word farj mean uh, vagina right I said to you clearly depend you are talking to who to a male or a female if you say to a female yes if you say to a man the man don't have vagina do he according to you The forge is an opening and it is 
a sexual opening. This is why the Quran says, لِفُرُوجِهِمْ hafizun, Those who protect their furuj. Chapter 23, verse number 5. Do you see it? Hmm? Do you see the word furuj? I.e. private part. This is the Muslim translation. But Peter will not get it anyway. So let us move on. Anything else? <clears throat> By the way, before I go, if any of you can recommend a good chair, if you live in the state, you use Amazon, you buy from Amazon, if you have a good office chair, you can recommend it for me. Just let me know. The, the, the chair I'm using is really horrible, breaking my back. So, if any of you can rec recommend the chair, maybe you can post down in the comment later after we finish the video and let me know. All right. Yeah, Faraj exactly is a private part, can be for a man or a female, depend you are talking to who. So, the, for the female, it's a private part of the female. What is the private part of the female? You think about it. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, hijab. There is no hijab. hijab. Hijab is not what the Muslim women they wear today, like putting those things in the top of their head. This is not hijab, showing their face. The hijab is a curtain, and we showed that already. You watched the video from the beginning. All the Quran, the, the, the word hijab appears in the Quran many times. And never was a cover in the head. It is a, it is a curtain. Chapter 746, chapter 1745, chapter 9, 917, chapter 3353, chapter 38, uh, verse 32, uh, chapter 41, 5, chapter 42, 51. All of them, they are using the word hijab. And the word hijab never was a cover for the head. Right? <clears throat> uh, my kings, you know, we gave them a chance and look like they are... Uh, uh, you and your Farid is, you know, you know, uh, Mike, I will give you a chance. If your Farid, if he is not a Fifi, why you don't call me and ask me about Imam uh, Murrah, the one you are talking about? I mean, why you Muslims are potatoes? You are like coming like bugs here. You don't dare. You want to play for me the the, 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 the video of uh, Farid? I can play it. So you want to call me to play it? <laughs> you see, the reason I don't play Fifi and Mimi, if you notice guys, when I, I refute them, I don't post the videos in my channel. Do you know why? Because those cowards, they flag my videos. They will say copyright. So when I reply for them, I use different channel. They are coward. For me, I don't mind if they play my video because that will bring me more and more people. But you Muslims, you are potatoes, you are coward. If I use your video for a second, you will flag me for copyright. video. <laughs> the coward Mimi Hijab, he flagged my video in, in, in Facebook for hate speech. The video, I get him busted. And then I, re I rejected uh, Facebook and they put the, the, the video back. Yeah, this is what they do. Otherwise, it's going to be fun, actually, if we play their videos one after one. We, we, we will die laughing. You know? <clears throat> Potatoes. Ask yourself, all those names you mentioned to me, why they don't dare to call me? I wonder what they will lose. They will lose their virginity. They will lose their vagina, their farj. It's a Skype. As long as you are sure, Christian Prince, he cannot deal with you. He's scared from you. Call him. No, no, Black Angel, no, no. You see, I lost many channels before. Many channels. That's not true. You are allowed legally, yes. But YouTube always side with the Muhammadan. Anytime you use their videos, they flag you. YouTube don't even respond. Yeah, that's not true. In Facebook, they are way better and nicer than YouTube. 
this is why I avoid using uh, their videos in my channel if I want to do it I use it I use different channel <coughs> Is every verse in the Quran has a hadith? Well, there is books. It's called the books of Asbab al nuzul which means the reason for the verses to come down, which means there's a story behind them. But uh, those stories are funny and stupid. As an example, the chapter which is speaking about Muhammad receiving uh, Al-Fatiha chapter, is speaking about Muhammad, he was going out to do poo, poo And each time he hear the sound of the angel, he flee. Hmm, this is what they say. But... We cannot say that really there is a hadith there. This is what they say. I mean, this is what they I mean, what, what even hadith is? Hadith is somebody said that Muhammad said. And all those hadith written by Muslims are gathered by somebody he never met Muhammad. He came more than 300 years after Muhammad. Uh, and he, you know, they say like, it, uh, from, 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 from. Okay, how you know that this from is exist? What if I, 200 years after Muhammad, I said that I heard that someone said, how you can confirm that? It's impossible. What if the one, the first one who said that hadith is a liar himself, and then we copy from him? Eh. The same as the Quran. They don't have the real Quran. Nobody have it. The Quran they have today is coming from Hafs. Hafs, according to Muslim Sunni, he is a fraud. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> if there is Quran without Al Fatiha, yes. Actually, the Quran which have Al Fatiha is Quran of Uthman. Quran Ibn Mas'ud don't have Al Fatiha. Because Al Fatiha is not really, uh, uh, you know, what, what it sounds like. The Fatiha was a prayer created by Muhammad to copy the Christians, our Father out of heaven. Right? <clears throat> Everything in Islam is a copy paste of somebody. Nothing in Islam is Islamic. Nothing, nothing. Everything is copied from somebody. It doesn't matter how it, if it is smart or stupid. Everything Muhammad you have is a theft. Like when Muhammad, he uh, speak about, uh, uh, tell us about the reason Muslim take Hafs Quran. They didn't have reasons. The caliphate, he took, uh, the, you know, the caliphate after they took it. So they took it. You see, ask them the question, why, well, why can, can one Muslim report for us hadith, authentic hadith by Hafs? They don't have, they reject it. So how you reject his hadith, but you approve his Quran? <laughs> <laughs> you know they reject the hadith because simply it's a lie this guy is a liar where we can find a hadith uh, or in like in al-bukhari or etc that hafs is reporting hadith it's authentic it is uh, accepted and etc no you cannot find that so how you reject his hadith which is lower than the quran and you accept his quran not only they reject him they consider him a fraud and his father is a fraud too they are thieves. You know, the funny, the Muslims, they say, uh, when they make a video to refute me, uh, they say, who said so? As you, the same as when uh, Mimi, he was debating uh, David. He, uh, David, he told him, your God have parts. Mimi, he said to him, who said so? So we showed him the reference. Al-Bukhari said so. A Muslim said so. Big scholars, they said so. And he said, and then they said to me, who, who said so? Huh? <clears throat> the mother of the believers was a truthful to Muhammad. We do not know, but the story says that they found her having you know, a relationship with a guy, his name is Safwan. And this is why Muhammad, he changed the witnesses from two witnesses to four witnesses. And, you know, uh, think about it. Aisha, she is just a kid and her husband is already dying. So why she will not cheat? 
when Muhammad died, Aisha, she was 17 going to her 18. We don't know if Muhammad, he can do it, but the Hadith says that obviously Muhammad, he is suffering from sexual problem. You see, you have always to think about stories are mentioned by the wives of Muhammad. <coughs> When the wives of Muhammad is saying that Muhammad, he was bewitched. And he imagined he had done a thing, but in fact he did not. And then they go farther in details. What is things he, he imagined he has done? Sex. Read it. This is, their, this is their story, not our story. This is nothing but uh, a clear proof that Muhammad was suffering from sexual issue. This man, he go out in the street bragging about how good he is in bed, that he had sex with all his wives, as we showed you in different hadith. But in reality, he did not even touch one of them. You know what I mean? If we ask any doctor, ask a doctor who uh, physiology is his uh, like uh, specialty, they call them shrink, right? I don't know what they call them. What is the reason for somebody to imagine himself having sex, but in fact he did not? There is a reason for that. It's a mental illness. It's a chemical balance in the brain. This is not about being bewitched. What bewitched? There's not, no, there's no such a thing. Bewitched. You see, when the Bible speaks about magic, speak about a magic that's there's people they practice such a thing to fool people when uh, uh, when the magician of pharaoh they look at the miracle of moses so his magic overcome their magic but he's not doing magic <laughs> this is a miracle they thought this is just a trick so we knew that this is false there's nothing it's called bewitched Muslims don't believe in demon, so we cannot say that this is because Muhammad is possessed. Obviously, Muhammad, he acts normally during the day, but when it's come to sex, he's not there. You know what I mean? And then he come with the excuses. The excuses to do, to cover what? To cover a problem that he was under black magic. That there is any real magic in Arab. There's nothing that's called real magic, my friend. There's no real magic. All oh, is a trick. People have a skills. The skills, you know, like fast hands or, you know, controlling the crowd by, you know, ability like magnetic uh, I don't know what they call it I mean they, you go to school to learn this, this, this stuff but it's not a magic you know this is not a magic <clears throat> there's nothing that's called magic yeah cannibalism we, we spoke about it you know uh, there is a video you can search it on YouTube about the Muslims in the Lazar University and the, you know they have books Teaching that if you have, if there is a Muslim is not a praying, you can eat him raw. But if he is a kafir, like, you know, he's a kafir, obviously, but you don't pray. But if he's a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu, you, you have to do barbecue him. Search the video on YouTube. No, there is no real magic. Magic can be real only if you believe in it. You know what I mean? Which means you fool yourself. <clears throat> huh? uh, let us see. Does this help? I don't know what you are talking about. 
Imagine having nine wives, the magic, okay. You know, if you look at the story of the magic in Islam, you will find that the story is itself exposing itself. Who is the one who sent teachers to teach magic? Allah. So we can say if we want to believe in magic, the way it's in Islam, it is satanic Allah doing his practice to control people. All right. If you remember that Allah, he sent two angels, their name is Harut and Marut. This is in chapter 2, verse 102. And their job is to teach magic. Do you see it? Allah, he sent down two angels, Harut and Marut. And before you register in their school, they make you sign a disclaimer that we are teaching you only as a trial. And the purpose of this magic we are teaching you so you can make the wife and the husband fight. How stupid the story is. So Allah, he sent two angels to teach people to do magic for wife and husband so they will sh they will beat each other in the sh by, by shoes. This is Harry Potter school. So according to Islam, the one who sent the black magic is Allah. Okay. So how Allah is the one who sent the black magic yet he could not protect his prophet from black magic. And how Allah he sent only to teach magic where uh, wife and husband can fight. But Muhammad here is not about fighting. He cannot have sex. As you see. Muhammad here is copying legions from nations before him that there is two angels sent by God in the Babylon Tower and they open a school of Harry Potter and this is where magic is coming from and he adopts the story as usual did you ask yourself why the Babylon? what the Babylon have to do with this? came down in the Babylon <laughs> why? the Tower of God the Babylon that is the Tower of God the, the pagan God Muhammad is adopting pagan belief, adding it to his religion, making it as if it's true. As I said, Muhammad, everything he have, he stole it from somebody else. Ronald, can you please answer what the Ronald answer you about what? <clears throat> you know, people, I don't know, like it's hard to follow up with people. And I'm looking back at Ronald post, I don't see anything, I don't see any question. So you're asking me to answer you, but you did not give me the question. <clears throat> if you have a question, make a full sentence, please. Uh, anyway, there, there's a, there is a, always a question nobody can answer from the Muslims, like here. Why why those angels came down in the in, in the in the Babylon? What the Babylon have to do with Islam? Uh, had ill in their names where did the names Harut and Marut came from you know because those are coming from different culture different belief Harut and Marut Harut and Marut mostly is coming from the uh, old Armenian uh, you know Mongolian territory uh, let us say it's a mixed legion between Armenian uh, Persian uh, you know uh, uh, the Babylon Tower is very famous and uh, those who live in you know the south of Turkey they believe that there is magic in the Babylon Tower and Muhammad he copied from there uh, about Muhammad his case with the well, you know, the hadith says that when I, when uh, when Fatima bin to Asad, the mother of Ali, she passed away. 
Muhammad he took off his uh, clothes and he lay down and he covered himself with her in the grave the Muslim they claim that he did that because that will ease the pressure of the grave on her but she is a woman and she is not his wife she is not his mother and how you can I mean why you take off your clothes and why you lay down with her and since when if you lay down with somebody in the grave uh, that will make the pressure less on her you see why Muhammad did not do that to his to his mother you know go to the grave of your mother open the grave and lay down next to her bones uh, Asad Islam you just call me you call yourself Mimi and now you are coming with a different name You were Mimi two, five, two minutes ago, you were Mimi, and now you became a lion, Mr. Assad. Isn't it amazing? You call me as Mimi, and you hang up, and now your name changed, became Assad, which means lion. What happened? Did Harut and Marut did magic to you? You became a lion suddenly? From Mimi, a female name, to a lion. Where is your scholars? Where is your big boss? Yeah, I gave you a chance to call me, Assad, and you t you turn to be a Mimi, and you hang up because you are a rabbit. Don't repeat yourself. Get out. Potato. Even you know the story of Muhammad mother. You know Muhammad was born four years after his mother, after his father's death. How that can be? You tell me how the father he died four years before and then the mother she delivered a son of that father four years after obviously she is sleeping around right Nothing, nothing right about this person, Muhammad. Nothing right. I mean, you name it. He pee like women. He pee like women. Uh, he put eyeliner. He kiss, he kiss men down their belly. Uh, he go inside the t-shirts of men. Uh, he never received Quran unless he is wearing Aisha clothing. Uh, you know what else uh, when when the cousin of Muhammad he came to see him he told him I don't want to see him he did rip me off or rape me what he did did he rape Muhammad or rape his, his daughter uh, so I mean it, it's endless Muhammad being bewitched Muhammad he imagined himself having sex but he did not I mean, what, what is left in this guy is right. What is left? Like if, if we go and see this hadith as an example. How this is, can be a prophet of God. This is what? This is a prophet of God? A prophet of God poking someone under his ribs. The person is not wearing a shirt. He said to him, I have a shirt, you don't have a shirt. This is not fair. Then the prophet, he raised his shirt. <laughs> he did what? He raised his shirt. And then the man embraced him and he began began to kiss his side this is the muslim translation by the way not my translation because in the hadith doesn't say 
that the man is kissing. Because the hadith is very confusing. It might be the Prophet kissing or the man is kissing because it says uh, Who is who is kissing who? In the Muslim translation it says that the man is kissing the side of the belly of the Prophet. Okay, hold on. Regardless who is kissing who. Why the Prophet, he left his shirt so the man will do that? Any explanation? This is the guy who want to do jihad and you know. Suddenly, he is lifting up his t-shirt and a man is kissing him there or he is kissing the man let us see I'm trying to find the picture to explain to you what happened exactly, but I can find only a man kissing the, the his wife. She is carrying a baby, or you know, like you know, we could not find you a man carrying a kissing a man, Billy. <laughs> In all of Google, Google have billions of pictures. We could not find a picture of a man doing such a thing, but you can find it with Muhammad. What is this? Oh boy. No CP, it doesn't say that. I hate it when I type in Arabic and I think I'm typing in English. Um, No, still we cannot find that. <clears throat> After all the search, we could not find. Oh boy. Uh, your internet turned off? No, your internet did not turn off. You hang up. You're a liar. Get out. Coward and potato. And why you don't send send us your uh, you know your cleric the one with the big beard so the mascara will be big. Mimi and Fifi and Dudu and Tutu, a bunch of potatoes. Anyway, uh, sin, sin of the Syrian. Well, you know, if you have my books, you will find that Muhammad, actually, this is a book I did not publish, sorry. Uh, it's, uh, there is two, uh, uh, two or three slaves who Muhammad used to listen to them and he steal from them. One of them is Assyrian and the rest are Syrian. This is why uh, there is a verse in the Quran. <coughs> Uh, 
where they accuse him that he is stealing from them. If you go to chapter 16, let me show you. If you go to chapter 16, verse number 103, Muhammad is answering why he is stealing from those Christians. He said that those are not Arab. What I am saying is a clear Arabic. What they speak is a broken Arabic. <laughs> Look at stupid answer. But obviously he was listening to them and he was copying from them what he hear. Do you see it? This is chapter 16, verse number Okay. Uh, he is uh, Amir is asking me about the hadith. <coughs> You see, uh, when you don't speak Arabic, the Muslims, they can give you difficulty. Um, let me open the Hadith. Okay. Uh, let me ask him to come online. Okay, all right. He's asking me about the hadith we mentioned. All right, let's do this. All right, Amir, I hope you, you are seeing me. All right. Do you see after his death? Do you see the word after his death? Who is the one who died? The master. This is the Muslim translation. Do you see it? You can answer in the chat if you want. So the one who died first is the master and this was the condition you know the the, the master he promised the slave when I die you are free
the word in Arabic here, the one it says the master die, it says an duburin, an duburin that a person who died, and this is what he left behind, a free slave. So this is the Muslim translation. This is what the Muslims say. I mean, uh, uh, hold on. You see, isn't it? Isn't it okay? Even in their translation. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let us do this. <laughs> the, the Muslims say. <laughs> Give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> Just wait. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Let us go to different hadith. Because they are not reading the whole, you see, this is this this website doesn't show everything. Alright. Let us see. Here we go. You see, you are they are saying to you the the word there in the in their translation, but in Arabic it's so clear. Read with me carefully. This is Sahih Muslim, the same story. Jabir ibn Abdullah said uh, that a person among the Ansar declared his slave free after his death, and there's no way he freed him after he died, right? So he he declared that his slave will be free when he die. That's what it's meant. So those fool who they are saying to you, it's not there. It is there. It's in Arabic. So the master died, and then the slave is free. So it's very stupid of them to say, it doesn't say he died. No, it says that because the, the slave will be free when he died, not after. <laughs> I mean, not before. <laughs> Yeah, the master he die. Is it is it clear, guys? The master he die. When the slave will be free, after he die. So, which means the master he did not free him when he is when he's alive. He told the slave, "When I die, uh, no screen. Hold on. Oh, sorry." All right. Do you see it now? This is the same story, but this is Sahih Muslim. And you see how right away the translation changed. Jabir ibn Abdullah said that the person among the Ansar declared his slave free after his death. So he had no other property, etc., etc. You see it? So when the slave would be free after his death, the guy did not die and then he came back from death and he say, hey, you are free. No, he promised him, when I die, you will be free. The same thing is in Sahih al-Bukhari. This is the word here, that he die. All right? So, after his death, where is the word after his death? The master die. Right? So this is their translation. So the master died and the slave became free. Here they are giving their translation saying, a man among the, the, the us declared that his slave would be free. When? After his death. So what happened? The master died. Where is the word the master died here? Do you see it? And you know, look how silly the Muslims are. So the story is so clear. The guy is dead. Did he die or he did not die? Does the hadith say that the, the, the master died or not? 
They say to him, it doesn't say that. <laughs> no, it does. <laughs> oh, here you go. So the master die. Okay, when the slave will be free after his death. Okay, did the slave did did the master die? <laughs> They say the hadith doesn't say that. It says that. It says an abdin lahu an dubrin. Crazy, stupid people. And it mentioned that the slave himself died too in the same year. So the master died. Muhammad he bought the he took the slave and he saw him again. But the slave, he is a free. And the same story appear in many, many hadith. And here with more details. Yeah. Well, the Muslim, they want you to give them uh, their own translation. Well, this is my translation. And my translation is accurate. Hmm? Here we go, read this one. Do you see that this one, uh, uh, Amir? Do you see this one now? On the screen? Read carefully. Among uh, A man among the Ansar decided to free a slave after his death. He died. Do you see the word he died? But this is the same story. Do you see it now, Amir? No, do you see this hadith now? Does it say that the master he die? This is the story, the same story, the same guy. He died. So how they can say it's not there? I mean, it's very stupid of them. I mean, look how silly they are. They are saying that the Hadith doesn't say that the Master died. But how you can say that? If the Hadith itself saying that he did left this, he made a promise that this slave will be freed when he died. So did he die? Where it says he died? Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> oh. I mean, I don't know why it's very hard for people to understand. When the slave will be freed, when he die. Okay, let us say a Christian prince is a liar. But when the slave will be free, when the guy die, Christian prince is lying. When the slave will be free, when the, when the master die. Now, did the master die? Yes, it's in front of you. And this is their translation. And this is the same story in different hadith, in different translation. The same story. A man among the Ansar, he decided to free his slave after death. He died. I mean, look how silly they are. 
they are worried now about the word if he died it's does it say he died <laughs> Well, the one who don't see the word he died, he must be donkey. Because the slave will not be free unless he died. So, did the master die? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. What a comedy. <clears throat> Let me pause this one for you too. Here we go. I will post it under the link of that uh, the video I made for you in the comments in the info actually. <clears throat> uh, so uh, uh, Amir, this is their translation, and the translation, even their translation, is so clear that the master he died. So if they did not say the word he died, that is the translator issue. But it says in Arabic, he did, he left a slave and dubur, which means after he die, the master he die. What the promise was, if I die, you will be free. When the man he declare that his slave would be free in his death, in, when, before he die or after he die. <laughs> Let, let me call Emir. I don't know if he, he got it. <clears throat> I don't know if it's late for him. He might be asleep in the bed now. My friend, if you if you are trying to make the Muslims um, satisfied, they will never be satisfied. I mean, look how silly they are. They are saying that the word the, the, word the master did not, doesn't say the master died. So was the master alive or he died? Because when they say it, it is not there, it means the master did not die. And that will make it different. But it says it clearly that the master died. When the slave will be free, this is their translation. I mean, how slow those people are. When the slave will be free, a man declared that his slave would be freed. When? After his death. Did he die? <laughs> Muhammad, he cannot take that slave and sell him unless he die first. Because the slave will be free after he die. So now the slave have no honor. He's free. Muhammad, he took him and he sold him for 800 dirham. Do you see it? And here they are giving more details about what happened. Uh, so the Muslim they want me to translate as they wish and they are trying to find a silly reasoning to say we don't believe in this what do you mean don't believe the guy he died and it says that you see here uh, every story every report give us different details if you notice No, 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 it's not only the slave died, the master he died too, because the slave will not be free unless, you know, I, I thought uh, when uh, when uh, Amir, he called me, I thought they are complaining about if the slave die, but he is saying now that, no, he want to he wanna know if, the ma if it doesn't say that the master die, for sure he die, and it says that there. Because this is the condition. The condition is the slave will be free after his death. So when the master will die, the slave will be free. Did the master die? Yes. Does it say that? Absolutely.
<coughs> this is his inheritance. This is what Debor is. That, you know, a person who would die and he left things behind. What he left behind? That the slave is free. So if you, if you want the Muslim to be satisfied with the translation, well, they can do their own translation, but that will not change anything. The master is dead. Let us say for the sake of argument, we took off the word the master die. The question, did he die in the hadith or not? The answer, yes. You know, it's very clear. But you know they don't. Uh, you know they try. Uh, I feel sorry for them. They are so desperate to defend, but their argument is silly and stupid. No, Peter, you cannot call me. So if they say the hadith doesn't say that, that is their lie, their lie, because the hadith says it clearly that the guy he died. You see, in those hadith actually, when you read, you are they are not quoting the whole hadith. You see, if you not if you notice, uh, if you if you click at this hadith as an example, there is an introduction for the hadith. The hadith is not like that. The hadith should be different. Here they are just quoting just little tiny part of it. The same as here. You know, like sometimes even they take the title off. What is the title? It's gone. <clears throat> okay, what is the How come here there's introduction? Why it says after his death? And then it says, and the master, he died. Why why, why it says that and the other hadith doesn't say? This is the same hadith. The same exact one. This is exact same one too. This is the same story. <clears throat> but anyway, if you are a person, uh, you try to find a reason to reject, well, you will find a reason to reject always. This is the inheritance. This is where the, the word Dabr, the inheritance of the man, is gone. There's nothing. He have, he not have anything. He have a slave, and he free his slave. Do you see uh, G. Smith? No, I don't really watch people uh, videos. <clears throat> I don't really have time. Let me show you here. This is the Arabic dictionary. They are saying, where is the word he die? Right? Okay. Dabara, Arrajul, Shaha, Haluka, Mata. What does that mean? When the Rajul, when the man, he became Dabar, he perish, became so old, and he die. It's in front of you. This is the Islamic dictionary.
dictionary. Do you see it? I mean, how more I can explain? <laughs> you know, let me let me do this because now this is in Arabic. They might say, "Oh, maybe he's lying." I'm going to open it in Google browser, and I will use Google translation to translate the Arabic dictionary. Is that good? And what I can do? Now, this is the only choice we have. Let me open it in different browser. Give me a second. <clears throat> That's it, the Abdul, he will not accept the brother. I mean, what he can do? Abdul is a stubborn. This is the page in uh, I will open it in Google translation and I will do it live in front of you. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. It is too many windows in front of me. I can't even see my screen. All right, Amir, are you there? I don't know, I think he slept. <laughs> I think Amir, he slept. Guys, look at this. I'm going to count with you. Where is the word that says the word Dabr, the one it appeared in the Hadith? Here we go. This is the word. Let us count how many line. Line number one, line number two, uh, number three, number four, number five, number six. All right. I'm going to click translate to English. Let us see. Let us see if the word there mean that he died. Here we go. Translate to English, brother. Grow old, perish, and die. Does it say that? Do you see it? Grow old, perish, and die. And yet they say it doesn't say that in the hadith. Let me call Amir. Maybe he's asleep. Let me wake him up. I don't know, my phone is stupid. Oh boy. Hey Amir, did I wake, did I wake you up? Yeah, I wake up, yeah. I have to go to my work. You're at work? I'm going now to the work. Uh, okay, did you, see the dictionary? did you see the dictionary? Yes, I see it. Okay, so the dictionary says it clearly. That, that's what the word is. Because they are ignorant, they say, we say where is the word? The word there, Dabar. Dabar is a grow old, perish, and he die. So did he? Did the master die? Yes. This, this, is, what the, this is what the hadith, uh, this is what the hadith say. Because why would Muhammad tell this say? Yeah, okay. exactly. But, but, no, right. they, but they are saying to you, they want to see where it says the master die, right? They want to see where the word master, where, where it says the master died, right? It says there. Hmm, I lost him. Yeah, he have a, I think it's my internet, maybe. Show us, show us where it says that he died. It says there because you're a donkey, you do not know the Arabic language very well. And this is, a, this is the Islamic dictionary. You know what I can do more? Show us, brother. Show us where it says that. 
<laughs> it's in the front of you. Hello? Uh, I have the internet for my neighbors, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. No, I think, no, it's my internet. It's my internet. No, but you see, but, no, it's my but, internet. Do you, but do you see, uh, Amir, the word there, I showed you which word in the hadith, right? And, and my translation is the accurate one. And here we go. This is an official yes. Islamic website in Arabic. And we just use Google translation. I'm not like, we are not making things up. And this is the word here, you know. Uh, 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 in the Arabic, in, in the Arabic dictionary, uh, mean uh, you know uh, he he became he you know an old it man. Doesn't say that. Baby. Yeah, here we go. This is this is this is the word in Arabic. The same the same word the same word the same word appear in the hadith is shaka halaka mata, and this is this the translation. Just in, in, in English, we use Google Translation, the same page. Mm. You know? So when, when they say, it doesn't say that CP, that's because they are stupid. This is their business. <laughs> so it doesn't say that. They try, they, they, they try, <laughs> they try, to, they, they try to enforce their stupidity and their ignorance on me and says, I am the one who's wrong. <laughs> Secondly, I mean, who okay, cares? Oh, no, but look. But, but, but listen, listen, let us say it doesn't say that. Let us say, I mean, does that change anything? The guy, after he died, the, the slave will be free. That's what the hadith is saying. Yes, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so did he die it's, or is it's still in alive? Front of our eyes. <laughs> it's in the front of our, our eyes. It's so clear that yeah. when the master, the master, master died, and then Muhammad took this slave and uh, sell him because you need money. Muhammad, exactly. Uh, Muhammad. So, uh, and, and, and if the if the master and your, and your translation is the accurate translation, it's an accurate the translation. Lie in their translation. Yeah, and in, not, not only that, you see, it's shown us that they are exposing their prophet because now the topic. Look how silly they are. Not what kind of a prophet he take a man who been freed and sell him again. The topic now is about did the master die or not? Now, now, <laughs> The Muslim says now. This the Muslim says. Ah, oh, the master need money, and uh, Muhammad sell the slaves, and then he give him uh, the what, money from the. What the master uh, need money? The, the guy is dead. The guy is dead. It says after he die will be free. <laughs> yeah, the, because yeah, because he, he gives me another hadith, and, and the hadith says um, this uh, master needs some money, and Muhammad took the slave. And no, that's a lie. Here we go. This is the same story, and this is this is the same story about a person from Al Ansar. He decided to free his slave. Here we go. After his death, it's so clear. And even in Sahih Bukhari, it says after his death, and then he died. This is in uh, Jami al Turmudi, and the Hadith is Sahih. The same Hadith, the same story. Here we go. You know. Posted in the description, brother. I I, 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 I I did. You know, I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, but, any, but anyway, you know, don't uh, uh, yeah, well, even even the hadith which is in Sahih Bukhari, which is their translation, does it say after his death? Yes, okay, so when the slave will be free after his death, that's it, the slave is not free yet, so Muhammad he can take him and sell him again. The guy is promising he after he died the slave will be free. And you know, in order to, to, to clear that out, we go to different hadith books and we will find yes, the guy he died. They are in total agreement. And all of them look who, and when who did was, you, where did you get uh, go into the trench um, uh, what was this? Uh, dictionary and which dictionary you want? Uh, this is Al Ma'ani dictionary, Islamic dictionary. And this dictionary agreed with your translation. Exactly. Huh? Yeah. I mean, because, uh, this dictionary, any, dic any dictionary will agree, agree with me. This is what the word means. It's not up to them. I mean, what dictionary? It's not about dictionary it, agreement. It doesn't say that, Zibi. Yeah, it's not, it's <laughs> not, a, lying, it's not a dictionary agree with me. I am the one is agreeing with the dictionary, you know? <laughs> yes, perfectly. Yeah, so uh, uh, my translation is perfectly good. 
and in order to understand let us say here there's some confusion because they are reading you know the, the problem is when they are reading they are reading this one here it's, it's short doesn't say anything you know and the one in Sahih Bukhari and in the, their translation it doesn't say anything doesn't give any introduction but if you read in different books it's so clear you know those are their Islamic books it says it clearly that the man he died you know and the the, the Prophet he sold him so it's not yes. only one hadith saying that uh, it's very clear uh, uh, you know and uh, they are trying to make an excuse that's their business what we can say you know? because they are they are ashamed about this um, story yeah. that's why they try to <clears throat> misinterpret uh, misinterpret uh, this hadith well the the hadith is so clear that the man he sold by Muhammad and he have who is Muhammad anyway why he is selling the, the the man the man he promised yeah, he yeah what is the what is the business of Muhammad the guy he decided to sell to to free the slave what kind of a prophet he is he take the slave and he sell him for 800 dirham you know whatever the reason is you know? yeah and you know we can show this uh, this hadith from many books not only Sahih al-Bukhari many Endless, uh, uh, you know, stories. But if you are waiting for a Muslim to uh, to agree with you, uh, you know, keep it dreaming. <laughs> that, 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 he never agreed with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, so if if you are waiting for him to to agree, that's a dream. There is no Muslim. The, the only way a, a Muslim he will agree that this is a true if he is honest. That means he left Islam. Mm. Like Fifi that he said, uh, in a day, not every day, but right. it's the same story. Right, in a day, not every day, in a day. <laughs> Muhammad slept with all his wife. Right. We uh, take, take one bath. Yeah, in a day, not every day, it would make a big difference, you know. <clears throat> yeah. And the Muslims are proud of him and say, oh look. He defeated CB. Yeah. <laughs> I was so laughing. Oh, CB, it doesn't say that. It says in a day. In a day. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. Uh, not in a day. So, Muhammad, he doesn't do it every day. He do it in a day, but not every day. <laughs> <laughs> My brother and I was so laughing loud. The neighbors thought, what they are doing there? <laughs> Crazy people. What you can do? It you doesn't see, say that. The, the only time they would agree with me if I became a Muslim. If I became a Muslim, whatever I say, they would agree. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I say, you know. Just became a Muslim, you know. Like Mimi, Mimi Hijab, he says, Allah don't have hands. He don't have. They agree with him. But, but all the scholars, they say no. Yeah, who says so? Who says so? Your, your Christian boy is finished. Yeah, who says so? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He he, he finished me. He, he took the pen. He, he took the pen and he put a sign on me. He finished. I finished. That's it. This guy is finished. That's it. Yeah, your boy is finished. His yeah. career is ending. Absolutely. <laughs> That's it. He is finished. Uh, can do. We are finished. And uh, and always they destroy me. Almost and they can destroy me. No, uh, no yeah. exception. Yeah, they make one thousand with you, but. No one is coming to step if you, in the with you. If you remember, Amir, when I came to visit you, uh, you know, yes. I have a bag with me. I did not show you what is inside the bag. Do you know what is inside the bag? What? I have a glue. <laughs> because the Muslims, they, des they destroy me and they glue myself after each time they destroy me. You know? <laughs> I don't know if you notice, like, I look healthy, yes. But in fact, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not uh, really in good shape because, uh, you know, this is the glue. The glue make me look uh, fine, you know. Yeah, they destroy me always. It's the glue, brother. It's the glue, brother. It doesn't say that, yeah. Yeah, anyway. It doesn't say that, All right. Baby. All right. Are you lying, baby? Absolutely. Uh, anyway. Okay, brother. Okay, have a good day, Amir, and enjoy your day. And don't, yes. don't worry about them in this way because it doesn't matter no, what translation. I know, because this try everything to uh, uh, put me down because I um, uh, make very commercial in Germany for your books you know yeah and I know that you can um, uh, what it's in English 
can show us everything, you know. You can yeah. show us everything what is written in your book. You know, the the, yes? the, the thing is, Amir, when he got excited, he want to get them busted. That's it. He, Amir, he keep texting me and calling me, texting me, text, you know. And and, and I'm <laughs> driving, and then I arrive to the beach. I'm I'm, I'm carrying I'm carrying I'm, I'm carrying the fishing gear, and I say, Amir, I cannot talk to you because I'm, look what I have with me. And I open the camera for him, and I show him the beach. It looks yeah. so beautiful. Wow. Yeah, yeah, very beautiful. But you know what? The master did not die. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the master did not die. No, he did not. He's You're alive. Lying. He's alive. You're lying. The guy, he did not die. <laughs> yeah. Okay, brother. Take care. Okay. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Yeah, you know, I mean, when he uh, get excited, like he want to get them busted, so he like start texting me and texting me and like... Sometimes I cannot answer him. You see, and he will say you cannot text and drive. You will have a big fine if the if the police cut you. It's not legal. So I cannot text you. I cannot call you back. I cannot just tweet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but look how silly they are. I mean, the hadith saying that he decide to free him after he die, and they say to you where he's where it says that. Where it says that? It says that in front of you. Are you blind? This is the same hadith. All of them, they're reporting the same story. All of them. And this is your Muslim translation. So sometimes they give you the details. The translator is doing a better job. Sometimes the translator is stupid. Did the man die? Yes. Here we go. It says he died, but he left no worth behind. Very simple. Anyway, you know, for me, I'm doing my best in the translation, and uh, uh, for sure, I'm you know, I'm sure of what 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 I'm writing there. Uh, and yes, the master he died. Absolutely. Anyway, what you can do. A Muslim he is satisfied with our work. That's mean he isn't a Muslim. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. How they will accept. And you know, uh, so let us say, let us say that he, the master, he did not die. He, a Christian prince, he is lying. Okay. So Jamia at Turmudi is lying too. Here we go. This is your Muslim translation. So are you, are you going to say that Jamia at Turmudi is a liar? Is this a Sahih? Yes. Here we go. Sahih. Look. The same story, the same person, the same reporter, Jabir. Here we go. Who is the one reporting Jabir? Who is the one who free a person from Ansar? The same story. Who is a slave? He's a Coptic guy. Read it. The same story. Who is the reporter? Jabir. Who is the one who declare he is from Ansar? Who is the slave? He's a Coptic. The slave he died in the same year. All of them are saying the same. Yeah, but don't even try. <clears throat> you see it? So the Muslims, you know, they are victims of their own translation too, because you know the Islamic translation is very confusing and very stupid. Look, here it says here it doesn't make it clear. If you go in this hadith here, it says it make it clear. This is the same hadith from Jabir. He will set him free after he die. Right? He will set him free after he die. But did he die? Yeah. Look. 
Look, all of them, they are the same story. Look at this one. A man promise, uh, who is the reporter? The same reporter, Jabber. Freedom to his slave after his death. In here, they are making it short, but the translation in Arabic, it says, Dabara rajulun minna. If you read this one here, declare he's a free slave after his death, and he had no other property. Okay. And look at the translation, each one of them is giving you different details in the translation. <clears throat> uh, look here. Uh, a man dying at the time of the prophet. Uh, let us see. Tons of stories. Those are not in contact with that hadith. But anyway, if you are trying to satisfy the Abdul, that is endless. So if a Christian prince, he lie about the story, that means uh, Jami al Turmudi is lying to the man he died. Here we go. So find a solution for yourself, Muslims. Obviously, everybody is lying. Everybody is a liar in Islam. Everybody, no exception. Because when you say this is a lie, that means this person is a liar. And all those who report the story, they are liars, including Jabir. Right? <clears throat> and look how the hadith shrink. I mean, why the hadith in Sahih Bukhari is so small? And here, look how big it is. If I zoom out, Look how long the story is, because there's more details. No. Anyway, never worry about what the Muslim says. If they say you are lying, that's a blessing for you, because that's mean you are telling the truth. <clears throat> uh, all right uh, anything else anyone have anything do we have any uh, Muhammadan he says I'm lying Translate for us what is left out from what? No, Peter, no, Peter. Peter, when I, uh, if you have serious questions, ask them here now. I take calls from Muslims, but not all the time, too. You know, like now, it's late, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, after the middle of the night. And I called Amir because, you know, I made this video for him. And, uh, you know, he, he needed to answer a Muslim. He was very excited for you, for, for it. But if you have a question, post it now. I mean, do you need to call me? <clears throat> what about Turkey genocide? What is Islam war? Everything, this is Islam war. Why they killed them? Because they are Christian Armenian. As simple as that. Why they killed the Armenian? Because they are Christians. <clears throat> um, let us see. If you have anyone he claimed to have knowledge, he is a sheikh, he want to debate me, you know, I will be happy to have him. And we will speak to him nicely and, you know, somebody, he have a PhD, 
because that will make it easier. What we see around us is just a bunch of kids and they are angry. They are just like a kid trying to hold me from my pant. You know? Some of them they want to cut my pant. Some of them they want to, it's uh, like, a, uh, it's like I'm walking and they are holding my shoes. You know? But they have no knowledge and they look stupid when they talk. <clears throat> what if they only speak Arabic? No problem. If they can bring somebody who translate what they say in English, that would be wonderful. Because if I translate what he said, they will say uh, he did not say that. So if he speak only Arabic, he want to debate me? No problem. Just to bring a Muslim who translate what he's saying. Which means we have to speak in two languages. Well, we showed you, you know, I mean, Muhammad, he did not have sex with Aisha. We don't know. I mean, who? I mean, we are just, what we know is what happened according to Aisha, that Muhammad, he imagined himself having sex. But is that for all the time or for some time? We do not know. You know? But obviously, Muhammad, he have an issue, sexual issue. You see, everything we know about Muhammad is what Muslims said. And what Muslims said, is a collection of crazy stuff from people who never met Muhammad because those who collected the hadith they are people who exist hundreds of years after Muhammad from people who they claim that they heard from 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 and you know if you uh, if you think about it just to show you something Look at this hadith. Okay. It's hard for me to accept that a woman, she have a little decency, she will go to public and she tell people what Muhammad used to do to her in the bedroom. Actually, it's not even in the bedroom. It's in the mosque. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you think there is a decency in there? How Aisha, she is saying such a thing. So if this is true, Aisha, obviously, she's a filthy man, woman. If the Muslims saying that Aisha, she said that, and they believe, I mean, that's mean the Muslims are really very open-minded people. To accept that somebody speak about how the prophet he do boom boom to his wife not only boom boom even she have her menstruation here even things get more dirty look at this the prophet he ordered me to do, to put a diaper around her private part she's bleeding and he fondled her you see, the Muslim using the word fundal her in translation, not me. In Arabic, it says yubashiruni. Yubashiruni is a sexual act. Boom, boom. So, if I am a Muslim, uh, and I believe that Muhammad, he is a decent man, and his wife is a decent woman, there is no way a decent woman, she will go in public and she will say such a stupid thing. Imagine the wife of uh, Mimi Hijab, she go now in camera and she say this. What people will say? You know what I mean? Just imagine. What is this?
or look at this hadith let me show you another one i'm just trying to remember some like stuff which is not too heavy duty uh, <clears throat> because there is some hadith they are really heavy duty Do you see this? Do you see this hadith? I mean, what is this? The woman she is describing what is coming from her beep. This is the word. Do you see it? What is this? She put a tray under her, uh, <coughs> and her <coughs> is dripping yellowish blood. What is this? And by the way, why it is a yellowish? That means she have a sexual infection. That is an infection. But how in the world a woman she have any decency she will report that to the public what is this the Muslim they will say to you also oh, we can learn learn what 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 do you mean the woman it's not Allah he told her to do that it's not Muhammad told her to do that she pushed the tray between her legs and what you learn now? Do you see what I mean? It's crazy and stupid, garbage. If my wife she go in public and start speaking like this, I will divorce her. That's it. I'm going to. I'm not going to live with such a filthy woman. What is this? She go in public and she say, he, "My husband he ordered me to put a sheet between my legs so he can do boom boom with me." What is that? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. It's already, you know, it's getting late. So this is the holy family of the prophet. This is the holy wife. This is the best of the wives. Three amazing stories about how the prophet, he do boom boom to her. And uh, Islam is a very open-minded religion. All right. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you. And I hope, I don't know if tomorrow I can go live on air. Because I made too many videos in this last 24 hours. People are not watching. So maybe I should delete or disappear, uh, hide some of them so you can watch what we just made. All right? Because what happened always, people, they watch the last one and they forget the one before and the one before. So maybe we need to hide some videos so you can see the previous ones and then we put this one back. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, may the Lord bless you all. And when the Muslim they say to you, this is a lie, it's not true, that's a very normal rejection. Those people, they are in pain. They worship Muhammad. And you are showing them that Muhammad is nothing but a false fraud. So what do you expect? You expect them to say, yes, this is true. Our prophet, he did that. Uh, he is filthy. No. So... 
very normal that Muslims they will call you names, they will say you're a liar, uh, you know, we got you busted. That's very normal. Actually, if they don't do that, it means there's something wrong with you, which means you are lying. You see, the second you see a Muslim saying to Christian prince, God bless you, Christian prince, that means Christian prince is corrupt. That means he is saying something the Muslims they like to hear. And what is that? That Muhammad is a good man, you know? So it's very normal. It's a good sign, very healthy, about anyone speak about Islam. If the Muslims they fight him, that means this person is saying the truth. If they don't, that means he's a fraud. As simple as that. It doesn't matter who Christian Prince, David Wood, uh, Apostate Prophet, all the names you know. If they are not upset from what he say, it means the person is a fraud. Is not telling the truth. As simple as that. This is now, this is tomorrow, this is a 1,000 year from now. They will never like what you say if you are saying the truth and they would love what you say if you agree with them as simple as that so i want to say thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and i will see you soon again christ is lord and islam is false thank you very much take care